It takes a determined mind to take an exemplary step. Such step is worthy of emulation from people of like minds. This captions the story of Okiagai, which many think development is impossible prior to now. But with their determination, many were attracted to the communal effort of the few people who started and joined in starting not one project but many to complement the giant effort of the state government. With a population of 500 inhabitants, Okiagai Community Development Association was formed from Ijeo Dodo CDA under the Bejuleki LCDA, an Ojoloko government area. It shares boundary with historical areas like Festac and International Trade Fair in Ojo. Mrs. Ganeat, the first resident in the community, takes us through the journey from inception. <laughs> But mo pe week ni ni adugbo yi woman to wa nbe yen o de so opolopo sha so pe ah ki lo sele tiru obirin fi wa da kesi ru inu gbo nbi bayi boya je ni boya o le ni boya nkan kan so won gbe mi lo le bale but mo de le bale bale ki mi oni mo se oni because tani ko ba wolu ilu o le da so woman ya wa ni 60 obirin e gbe ohun le gbe ru ibi bayi bo ohun ma joining me be lo to na ejo po awon eran ko buburu kun na po to je pe tin ba jade lo ma omo mi tin mo pon leyin gba yen o wa ni 8 months mandi okuta saya so tin ba ri nkan kan to fe seru ba mi ma kan so nu gbo ma dere jo ma bu ye pe ma da si iwaju ohun na ma sare not despaired Ghaniyat took the bold step. Others who believed in Okiagai becoming a reality it is today followed suit. As at the time I bought my land, the year 2000, December, the whole of this area was bushy. To the extent that there came a time that uh, I brought one of my uncle in. He said, why? What do you want to come and do in this bush? Well, I told him, Lagos, there is no place that will not develop in Lagos. So I have to put that his idea away and develop my property. I meant only four houses. So I, I'm, I'm the fifth uh, residence in this uh, community. It looked like village entirely. Bush, no, no access road, no electricity, no infrastructure at all. was go. They be pay at a re or cadago of Jaddy. The same if you are my jaddy by a salama fear and a jaddy, a salama fear by the world. It was worse than what we are experiencing at hand because a lot of things we have done has motivated people to come in, and before now it was really, really tough. Mobility was a no go area. And the drainage system in the environment was totally poor. And because of the activity of the CDA, as at then and at now, things have really improved. Joint efforts of determined minds with common aim just towards the development of the inhabitant prompted both steps that attracted more dwellers. Okay, part of Ijeodudu had no light, no road, and no any infrastructure. So we started by constituting ourselves as a community. We had to form ourselves to become one by holding a weekly meeting. Where you have that wooden bridge, that has been a serious effort of this community. Each house has to contribute about 5,000 5, on hardcore before we were able to get to a stage that we have to start raising revenue from that point in order to maintain that point you see so and to maintain the whole road from that entrance of that barricade you see in it has been the effort of this community okay Agaya community members did not rest on their oars especially with continual effort a naturalization of Governor Akumi Ambody to empower and develop communities in Lagos State. 
like we started uh, by contributing, contributing money to buy poles, electric wire transformer. And this is transformer we are looking at now. So by God's grace, the transformer was com commenced and we started having lights with the help of the community. Well, you know, electricity is one of those things that can attract people to come in and road inclusive. Without light, we cannot achieve anything in any environment. Uh, you know, God created this world and after creation, there was light. And that is why light is very important. So electricity cannot be ruled out in anything we are doing. So that is why it is very, very, very important. Members of the community strongly support the initiatives of Glego State Government for a community police to safeguard lives and property. And to show appreciation to the Ambade government, they contributed to their quarter by putting necessary security measures in place within the community. They believe evil can be perpetrated in darkness, so they light up their candle to eliminate darkness which could attract evil act in their community. Street lights security, especially in the night. If you are coming all the way from the outside inside, you see that it will brighten and lighten the whole environment, scaring away some of these hoodlums, which I know cannot be totally, but in a way it helps. That street light you are seeing is the effort of the community. And we are still improving more on it. If you go inside, you see some of the street light positioned in strategic places, and it is really helping the community. The people of Okiagai have unwavering set goals to make the community a worthy abode. Community developmental projects to the people of Okiagai are never enough. They call for the input of corporate organizations, especially NNPC, for the resources they manage present in their locale to help them make their community viable. I do pay for long pay school, school, public school. See. We still need more of this uh, electric, electricity amenities like um, the poles, the extension wires and things like that for other areas that are in, inside to enjoy the fullness of the light. Hospital, if not full hospital, but an health care center that can take care of the health of the people. If anything happens now, the only avenue we are going to is outside here in Jago. We don't have anyone here. So we need health care centers. And even recreational places, we need all these things for all the young ones to come up and exercise themselves and do some other things. This will curtail some of the biases we are experiencing.